Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Steve Reed again from Steve Reed Tourism. We're doing another fantastic tour for tour planners and it's based this time in the northwest of England. We're including hotels, attractions, destinations, meal stops, retail, all sorts of things to help you plan your tours. First stop, I'm at one of my favourite attractions in the northwest, Salmsbury Hall. And I'm with Simon Entwistle, who has Top Hat Tours, and he's going to show me around. My name's Simon Entwistle. I'm a local tour guide. I run Top Hat Tours, which conduct tours throughout the whole of the north of England. I've been conducting tours here at Salisbury Hall for the last 15 years. It's a beautiful grade one listed building, and a building I never ever get tired of showing coach parties and tourists from across the globe. What's so special about Salisbury Hall? Well, Steve, every single room has a different story from a different century. Uh, I never get tired of telling these stories because they are really, really interesting. And it's great to keep an audience enthralled with the stories from this fabulous building. Sarsby Hall has a reputation for being the most haunted hall in the north of England. Ghosts, murders and mysteries are commonplace here in this beautiful 800-year-old building. What can groups do here? Groups are very, very welcome here for guided tours. There's also uh, beautiful gardens here, excellent coach parking. Uh, there's a bar, there's a cafe, and there's a restaurant as well. So groups are very, very welcome here. And of course, there's a lot for them to do. The fireplace looks quite innocent, doesn't it really? But they'd pull back the lever here. The front of the fireplace would come out. In the priests would go. And the army wouldn't even consider looking for people behind a glowing hot fire. I'm Lauren Machin, I'm the Deputy Director of Salmsbury Hall and I manage the groups. I look after some wedding functions, I make sure that the hall is running smoothly on a day-to-day -day basis. The hall runs as a charity and our mission is to keep it open for people to enjoy. We've got fantastic facilities on site for food and drink. We've got um, a wafflery with ice creams, waffles, sweet treats, coffees, cakes and we've got uh, the Heritage Cafe which serves locally sourced food and drink um, and all food can be pre-ordered if you're in a rush and you're sticking to a time schedule we'll serve you in the Great Hall itself um, and we can offer anything from a buffet to a three-course dinner. What can groups do here? So on a sunny day they can spend an hour or two in our beautiful courtyard by the fountain they can look round our gardens which are well managed and maintained and there's all sorts of different flowers and um, features for people to see. They can look in all the nooks and crannies of the hall. All they need to do is give us a call on our office number or email me and we'll get them booked in. Send us some dates, what they want to do when they're here and we'll, we'll go from there. There's no charge to get into the hall um, so if you want to have a self-guided walk round it's completely free. If you do want to have a guided tour with one of our specialist guides there's a small charge per person. If you turn up unannounced that's no problem whatsoever. Um, we do ask that you always check our website for our opening times because we may have a small wedding on and we wouldn't want to disappoint you, but we will look after you when you get here. Now this evening we're staying at the Blackpool Dacious Hotel. It's an ideal place to stop if you've got the group. It's right on the seafront of the north shore of Blackpool. Stupendous views beautiful scenes from the hotel. It's an absolutely wonderful place to be. Now this particular hotel is indicative of the high quality and great service that you get at the 12 Dacious hotels all around the UK. 10 destinations, 12 hotels and they're all perfect for groups. They do lots of things very very well and it's not surprising that they are award winning. They deserve their awards that they seem to win regularly. Why do they win them? The great value for money, they're spotlessly clean, they've got great entertainment, they've got great customer service and I can tell you this much, they have very very delicious food too. If you have a query or you'd like to book then just email groups at dacious.com well, I'm joined by the joint owners of Ina Mill, Simon Yates and Jonathan Addis here outside the famous building in the heart of the North West. Jonathan, 
what sort of experience do coach parties have here at the mill? I think uh, first and foremost, Steve, it's uh, we've got a beautiful, uh, iconic, uh, great two listed building, which is really what sets us apart from uh, from anybody else. And really, when the coaches turn up, we get a full meet and greet service, and uh, we really roll the red carpet out for them. What would be a typical dwell time, do you think, in a in a, in a place like Eden Mill? Well, we, we we suggest two and a half to three hours. But we've had coaches and, and uh, the clients staying longer than that simply because there's such a vast uh, range of products to look at with the restaurant in there as well as the shopping experience and pre-booking is something you prefer but it's not essential yeah we prefer it because like John just mentioned it's that you know we can do the meet and greet properly go on to the coach explain the uh, the format the departments and the restaurants uh, so but it's not it's not essential we can, we'll accept coaches anytime well, we're inside now and I'm very pleased to be here at Ina Mill. We've worked with these guys here for the last 10 years or more, bringing all sorts of groups. And we've, we've learned very quickly that it's of interest to coaching tour operators from all over the UK. It's of interest to group travel organizers, private groups, tour wholesalers, and also inbound groups from overseas. They will find something here in Ina Mill. Gemma, you're the supervisor here at Ina Mill. What do groups do here? Shopping. So we have pavers, we have great shoe departments, ladies wear, men's wear, we have a great homeware department, gifts, bedding, curtains, linen. So what sort of brands do you have here that coach parties will have heard of? So we have famous brands here. We have Yankee Candle, we have Paver Shoes, Rika Shoes, we have Class and Roman in our ladies' wear. We have Bon Marche. And do coach parties ever get discount or, or, or special offers or anything like that? Yes, they do. When coach parties come, they get a great discount in store. They get 10% off in the mill. They get 10% off in the cafe, 10% off with paper shoes. What about people who have got access issues? They find it hard to get around. We do have disabled access. We have wheelchairs that we can give out to customers. And we do have disabled toilets as well. I'm here at the world famous Olympus Fish and Chip restaurant in the heart of Bolton. And I'm here because I want the viewers to see how good this is to attract groups, perfect for groups. And I'm with my friend, Tasso Petitchi, who is the owner of the Olympus restaurant. Tasso, tell me why this place is so popular with groups. Well, Simon, I established the Olympus Fish and Chip restaurant about 33 years ago with the aim of providing quality food. As you can see, we have a, a very large, um, big restaurant, a uh, nice ambience, How many covers? Round about 200. And that means I can put four coaches in here. So there's plenty of room for the casual trade as well as food. Four coaches yes, at, at once? Uh, at absolutely, one time. yes. So the service is next to none. We have a good friendly service with attention to detail. So there's no problems with anybody that's in a hurry to get in and out, we can provide that. And what's on the menu here, Tasso? We have fish chips and mushy peas. The fish we use, uh, cod, haddock, place, and salmon. And incidentally, not only do we batter it, but if the customer wants an alternative, we can grill it and we can steam it. We do have alternatives. Uh, we have a nice steak and kidney pudding. They are Hollands, um, which is served with gravy, the bread and butter, and tea as well. And if anybody would like a homemade cheese pie, we can accommodate them as well. And we do lovely puddings right here as well. Our puddings are very good. Uh, we have the pudding side, apple pies. We have chocolate fudge cake, carrot cake, and of course, we have homemade scone jam and cream. Delicious. How do groups book a group visit here? What do they have to do? The group bookings can either phone, by email, or if they'd like to come down in person, they're welcome. Um, preferably, Steve, I would like 
these operators or groups that do come to book in advance. Uh, as you can see, we get very busy. Yeah, you're very popular. But at the same time, I will do my utmost to get um, a spare of the moment booking in. Whoa, <laughs> this, this is mm, delicious. And what's that I hear playing in the background here? Well, Steve, we have a wonderful grand piano and we have an extremely good pianist, which adds to the ambience. Yamas. Cheers. I'm Nikki Breyer and I'm the business manager at Paradise Mill and the Silk Museum in Macclesfield. For coaches, you can pull up right outside. Customers can get off the coach straight into the museum. One thing that is really good about us is that we are an indoor attraction. We're open all year round. If your group is 30 or more, we can actually close the museum so that you can have an actual private party. There's something for everyone here. We've got fantastic fashion and dresses. We've got engineering. We've got social history. We've got machinery. We've got pattern matching. We've got pattern making. We offer different workshops. There's lots of different things for everybody. On the ground floor of the museum, we've got our cafe, we've got our shop, and we have three more galleries for the visitors to explore. We've got an Egyptian collection here, we've got silk mat dresses, we've got a large collection of jacquard patterns and jacquard cards. We've also got a collection of over a thousand pattern books that we allow groups to come and see. There's lots of machinery to see. We, at the Silk Museum, we have a lot of large machinery. So we have spinners, throwing machines, we've got ribbon looms, all here in the Silk Museum. But over at Paradise Mill, we have the largest collection of jacquard hand looms in the whole of Europe. One of the things that's really good about the Silk Museum and Paradise Mill for groups is that it's a good morning's visit or a good afternoon's visit. We can organise the guided tour specifically around your requirements. We can take groups from 10 right up to 100. When we have a group of 30 to 40, we usually split them into two so that everybody gets a, a really good experience. So group A would explore the Silk Museum and group B would then have their own personal tour of Paradise Mill. As part of the package, we offer tea, coffee, homemade cake. Uh, we also have a lovely shop, so you can wander around there. And we always have changing exhibits throughout the year. So there's always something a little bit different each time you come. We're on the main London line, so we've got a, a direct link to London. We've got motorways very close by, and we've got the Peak District right on our doorstep. Manchester, Liverpool, Stoke, they're all surrounding us. The best way of getting in touch with us is to email us at bookings at silkmacclesfield.org.uk or visit our website macclesfieldmuseums.co.uk. The beauty of this place is this is where it all actually happens. This is the actual building and there's no recreation. All the weavers worked here. So the whole place has a magic to it even some of the minor things, the small details, the pattern of the wood on the looms. You really get a sense of the weavers having used these machines. Well, we've had a fantastic time here in the northwest of England. We've been based at Daish's Hotel Blackpool. That's been incredible and we've been to four attractions around the Northwest. We've been to Salmsbury Hall near Preston, 
Uh, we've been to Ina Mill Retail in Atherton, Greater Manchester. We've been to the Olympus Fish and Chip Restaurant in the heart of Bolton. And of course, here we are in this magnificent place, Paradise Mill, the Silk Museum in wonderful Macclesfield. What a tour it's been, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a privilege working with Eastwood Media to produce this wonderful film for the coach tourism industry. I would say to all the destinations and attractions, retail, hotels, right away around the country, this is the way, this collaboration that we have now is a way to generate group bookings, group business. Short films, we love doing them, so do be in touch, Steve Reed Tourism. Thank you very much.